Welcome back, nail queens, to the fifth and what I think is possibly the most coveted part of the Jelly Tip series. If you're new here, I've been doing a beginner basic series on Jelly Tip application. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, click the link in the description box below and start the playlist from the very beginning. This way you guys can get caught up on all things that you need to know. But today's video is going to be jelly tip application. This is like the meat, the middle of the most important part of jelly tips is applying the jelly tips, and making sure it doesn't seep out, you get the right fit, everything goes on perfectly, you cure it perfectly, everything. Everything about this process is important, so I do recommend you check out every single video because if you mess up your prep, it don't matter how perfect you apply that jelly tip, it'll somehow pop off or peel or lift in the future. So if you're interested in learning about jelly tip application, definitely keep on watching. To start off this demonstration, my nails are already prepped, meaning I've already applied my primer. This helps ensure that the gel and the jelly tips do not move or lift. Then I applied a gel base coat and I cured that for 60 seconds. And then I applied a thin layer of this builder gel and cured that for 60 seconds as well. The flash curing lamp I will be using is this one right here by the Painted Desert. It is a standalone gooseneck lamp. It is charged using a cord, however it can be used cordless so you can move it anywhere on your nail desk that you want. To start off, I'm going to be working from my pinky all the way to my thumb. But I want to show you guys a quick little hack. If you are worried about getting gel on your skin or if you have ultra short nails, this might help you. Take some peel off base coat and then apply it around your skin and let that completely dry. Applying the peel base will ensure that any areas where the gel tends to seep while you apply your jelly tips, that the gel will not come in direct contact with your skin. It will be coming in contact with the peel base. The gel I'm going to be using to adhere the jelly tips is the cactus jelly from the Painted Desert. So what I like to do is take my jelly tip after it's all prepped and ready to go and apply a thinnish layer of the cactus jelly on the inside of the jelly tip like so. You're going to notice I don't paint on too much. I am dragging it. It's okay. You'll see why I drag it and I don't worry about floating it in a second because I take the edge of the brush and I scrape it on the jelly tip so a nice little dollop of gel gets where the cuticle area is. Then I move the curing lamp closer to me and I turn it on, but you're going to notice that my jelly tip is above the curing lamp, so even when I turn it on, it's technically not curing my jelly tip because the jelly tip is not in the way of the curing lamp. So when I apply it on my nail, I focus it on the cuticle area at an angle like this, and then I keep pressure on the cuticle area, ensuring that I'm keeping the jelly tip straight, and then apply pressure downwards so that the gel floats towards the free edge. Once it hits the free edge, I stop. I don't continue pushing downwards, but I keep applying pressure while I go flash cure. It is very important that you keep applying even pressure while you're flash curing so that the tip doesn't lift up and start causing bubbles or any other issues or gel seepage. You don't want any of that to happen. So keep it like this until it's completely flash cured. I'm going to follow the same technique as before where I apply a thinnish layer of cactus jelly to the underside of the jelly tip to all areas that are going to be in contact with my nail bed. Once that coverage is complete, then I'm going to take the edge of the gel brush, so you're going to see right here, and I'm going to scrape it at the cuticle area. This gives it an extra little dollop, and this little glob is going to help ensure I have adequate amount of gel to cover the whole nail. Then I turn on my flash curing lamp, and then I'm going to flip the jelly tip over, anchoring the jelly tip at the cuticle area of my nail while applying firm pressure right there at the cuticle area. Then I will begin to press downwards so that the gel can float towards the free edge. And then a trick I found very important is that when you're pressing down, stop pressing down, but keep applying pressure once the gel hits the free edge. You don't want the gel to float past the free edge. If you have any gel that floats past the free edge, take a gel brush like this and then just smooth it out. I did get a little seepage here on the left side of my cuticle and I will be taking care of that in the next video where I talk about finishing touches and filing the cuticle area nice and flush. I'm going to keep applying the same technique over and over again.
The angle that I'm using here had to be different because this is how I apply my jelly tips. Once I get closer to my thumb, the direction that I apply it in is a little bit different. So I hope you were able to see it from this angle or maybe you got a different perspective on how I press down the gel while also applying pressure at the cuticle area. One thing that I never do is let go of the pressure I'm applying at my cuticle area. This way I'm not getting bubbles or any issues at my cuticle area. This also helps ensure that I get minimal or no seepage at all. So the next nail I'm going to focus on is the thumb. Since I work my way from my pinky to my thumb, I apply a little bit more gel each time as I go from a smaller nail to a larger nail. Now that I'm going on my thumb, it is my largest nail, so I have to apply a larger amount of gel. It's very important that you apply the correct amount of gel, trying not to apply too much or too little. This definitely does take practice. If you experience issues, for example, bubbles or at the free edge, you didn't apply enough gel so there's a gaping hole at your free edge, things like that, I will definitely cover how to fix those issues in my tips and tricks video. So stay tuned for that video. Do you see that number that is at the free edge of the tip where it says number seven? Almost every single jelly tip I have has the number there at the tip of the nail. So I'm going to apply a glossy top coat a no wipe glossy top coat here to the underside of my nail and this is going to help cover up that number it's going to help it completely disappear so if you use jelly tips that also have a brand name that's going to make it disappear i'm going to apply it to every single nail i don't apply too thick of a layer you don't want it too thick just even enough and thin enough to cover the underside and then cure all right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped answer your questions on jelly tip application. I know there's so many things that can go wrong with jelly tips. So I actually am planning on doing like a troubleshooting uh, common mistakes with jelly tips video. Don't worry, that will be coming sooner than later. So if you have any mistakes or struggles that you have with jelly tips that you constantly keep doing, definitely ask it in the comment box below. And I'll make sure to cover the most like occurring questions in my common mistakes troubleshooting video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.